Most rear end accidents result in you getting a small settlement. I'll explain why and what you can do to tip the odds in your favor. The first reason rear end collisions usually get small settlements is because your injuries from the crash are small. The most common injury from a rear end accident is back pain or neck pain. Those injuries aren't worth a whole lot. Most back and neck cases settle for way under $25,000. This is because the pain often goes away. My pain, it's gone. Yeehaw! And you can't see pain from whiplash or back injury on an x-ray. And in many no-fault states, to get one penny or more in pain and suffering, a doctor needs to say that your injury is permanent. And even if you have back or neck pain or general pain and there's a small amount of damage to your car, expect a big fight from the other side's insurance company. They likely won't offer you much money for your pain and suffering. This is especially true if Geico State Farm or Progressive insures them. They all fight minor impact cases very hard. The rear end cases that are worth the most are usually those where you have surgery after the accident. The most common surgeries after a rear end accident are back surgery, neck surgery, or shoulder surgery. Again, if there is not much damage to the vehicles, you should expect the at-fault driver's insurance company to fight the case hard. If your only injury is neck or back pain and you didn't take an ambulance to the hospital, the insurance company will use this as a reason to offer you less money or maybe no money at all. Every day that you wait to get medical treatment results in the insurance company valuing your case lower. However, if you have surgery and the at-fault driver has a low insurance policy limit, they are much less likely to fight. I'm talking about if they have a bodily injury insurance limit of $25,000 or less. This is because the at-fault driver's insurance company is faced with two choices. Number one, pay the policy limits and be done with the case. Or number two, risk the chance of losing at trial and then owing you the entire verdict amount. The second option carries risk for the insurance company. Remember, they want to avoid risk. This is why they often pay if the limits are low and the injury is worth more than the insurance limits. The rear end cases where I've seen the biggest settlements are those where a passenger is injured. I'm talking about the passenger in the car that hits the other car in the rear. It's usually a passenger who wasn't wearing a seatbelt who gets badly hurt. In one case, Zach was a passenger in a car in Florida. It was a rental car. The driver of the car that Zach was in hit another car in the back. Zach, unfortunately, was not wearing a seatbelt. As a result of the impact, his arm struck the seat in front of him. Zach broke his arm and had surgery. Fortunately, the driver had plenty of insurance. I settled Zach's case for $170,000. After my lawyer fees, costs, and paying off his medical bills, he got over $113,000 in his pocket. Like most rear end cases where you're seriously injured, most of the settlement was for his pain and suffering. After an accident, there are several huge mistakes that you need to avoid making or it can cost you thousands of dollars. To learn what these mistakes are, watch this video here, click in the link in the description below. And if you're seriously injured in the state of Florida or on a cruise and you think someone else may be at fault, click on the link in the description below to see if I can represent you.